Hi there, I'm Peter Wolfkamp, resident builder, and welcome to my cottage, my little project. This is a 1905, approximately 95 square meter cottage that when we bought this property, it was in a fairly sorry state. And I guess it's a classic example of a house that without proper care and attention over a period of time, they really do end up looking quite neglected. So what we've had to do with this house has been to, well, basically we've done everything from the floor, we've done some repiling, we've done a lot of strengthening, we've put some insulation right throughout the house, I've put a new roof on it, and I've worked on those bits of the house that you don't see. So we ended up stripping out all of the electrical, replacing all of the wiring inside the house and essentially replacing the distribution board. Now this house is in a heritage area and I know from experience that there's been a number of fires um, on old houses and when you do have a fire in an old house it tends to spread really quickly and so I wanted to be absolutely sure that I was using the latest and best technology to ensure the safety of this house. You know being a chippy and being on site I know the value of being protected from let's say electrocution by an RCD. I know that we have them as commonplace in distribution boards in New Zealand homes now. What I didn't know is that there's sort of the next level of protection, the next level of technology available through PDL now as well. And that's all about detecting those tiny little arcs that may well spark a fire. Old houses, unfortunately, tend to burn really well. So I want to protect this house and more importantly, the people in it into the future. So in the distribution board, we have added arc fault detection devices. Basically, they look like an RCD, but what they will do is that if there's a minute spark on an extension cord, on a plug that's partly out of a power point, uh, on a frayed cable, on an old light fitting, anything like that, and it creates an arc, the board will turn off the power to that source, preventing potentially a fire. So here's the distribution board in my house and to be honest it looks like pretty much every other distribution board I've ever seen but of course we've we've added some magic here. So typically if I've overloaded a circuit at the back of the house the circuit breaker will trip out but with these there is alongside each breaker the arc fault detection device so if there is a fault that causes a spark that one will trip as well and it will also trip the breaker that's alongside it. During my building career I've done a lot of work on heritage houses and one of the things that um, I've been aware of is that while we might be doing an extension to a part of the house, uh, myself as the main contractor and the electrical contractors that I'll use, we're never quite sure about what's going on with the existing part of the house. And you know, New Zealand houses may have a mixture of different types of cable and it's been done over a period of time. And I guess what gives me some additional security around the arc fault detection devices that I've installed here is that if there was some old wiring it's now being protected by these new devices. Or if you're in a house that's had a renovation or a series of additions over time and you don't know everything about all of those electrical circuits, again, adding these arc fault detection devices to the distribution will give you some security around the safety of those circuits. <music> 